Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Max Wardell here, OverheadAthletics.com, joined by Chuck from the Overhead Athletic Institute as well. We're gonna talk about instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization for the elbow. There's many different forms of instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. There's Graston technique, there's Gua Sha. There's a lot of different types of very similar approaches that incorporate massage utilizing tools or mobilization utilizing tools. This is just one you could buy on Amazon. There's a lot of different types of tools you can buy online. You know, just buy one online that's basically got a nice beveled or curved edge on one side and, and maybe a little more focal or sharp edge on the other side. And this is something you can do yourself. I've got a little bit of uh, mobilization cream here. You can use a uh, cocoa butter, any, any form of lotion usually works pretty pretty well. Something that decreases the friction with the skin a little bit to make it a little more comfortable. You get one of these tools nowadays for like 40, 50 bucks. A few years ago, you might have to spend 150, $200 to get a tool like this. I do like the metal ones more than the plastic. And basically what we're doing is we're running down the length of the muscle. Let your arm come out a little bit. And I'm, I start with the beveled or the curved edge a little bit. And we're running down the length of the muscle kind of in parallel with the muscle fibers a little bit, wherever the soreness is. So this is great after a bout of pitching for the inside of the elbow here. And wherever that soreness is, and I push hard on the way down and a little softer on the way back. So I'm kind of digging in, but I never lose contact with the skin and I can do quick motions or I can do kind of longer strokes and you can feel where the, the muscular tissue is a little more gritty. I can also go to the more sharp or focal edge kind of as I get a little more accustomed to the tissue, and I'm gonna let Chuck do a little bit of that on his own, because this is something, this scraping is something you can start to do at home. So slow down a little bit, good. Get into the tissue and then pull it back, pull it back, good. And now try some quicker, shorter motions. And different tools are gonna to be effective for different techniques. A really common type of tool here has multiple different edges, some that are, you know, come to a point, some that are a little more diffuse, and you can hold it and kind of get into some tissue, so we'll try that a little bit. There's a lot of different types. I do prefer the metal ones, and sometimes these ones that you can kind of grip like this work really well as they hit a large area. And, and I'm not trying to cause bruising. I might get a little bit of redness of the skin, and I'll go with the muscle fibers and then kind of in perpendicular or across those mu muscles as well. Bigger strokes or smaller strokes. Give that one a try there, Chuck, I'll trade you. And you can do this anywhere really in the body. You know, you could do this on the leg, on the thigh. I've got sore thighs, I can do it right there. The idea is that I'm not going to be pushing so hard that I cause some serious discomfort. It might not be the most comfortable thing in the world, but I'm increasing blood into the area. Number one, first and foremost, blood in the area, but then number two is I'm improving some sliding surfaces. I'm increasing the ability of the superficial or the layers on the outside to move on the layers underneath, and I can desensitize some painful structures by doing a little bit of this scraping massage. I don't wanna cause bruising, like we said. A little redness is okay. Your dosage is usually about five minutes, at most 10. Just working through some of these sore tissues, we see that it decreases soreness, brings blood into the area, improves some sliding surfaces, and it may, in fact, even help the tissue heal a little bit and the collagen fibers to lay down in a more tightly compact fashion. So great for the elbow, great for the quads, great for patellar tendon. After pitching, we'll spend a lot of time on the medial elbow doing this. It's, it's a little more difficult to do it on the shoulder and a lot of times you have a PT do that to you or something like that. But you really don't need a skilled therapist to do some form of scraping. Now there are some specific techniques that a lot of times you'll get from a skilled physical or physiotherapist or an athletic trainer right after about a throw just doing some general maintenance is something that you can start to handle. Scraping up and down the muscle on the inside of the elbow, especially here through this pronator region that kind of lays over the UCL is a very effective technique for our softball players and baseball players. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. We'll share more recovery methods as well as more exercises that you can utilize to enhance your performance and also your recovery when you get off the field. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one.